okay, I'm planning to get this one more time. <laughs> like, one more take. I'm about to get this take. It is 10.07. I am freaking tired. Okay, so it's JWK hollering at you, blah, 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 blah. And I wanted to talk to you guys about my ex. My ex is, um, you know, my ex and how, you know, I finally got to tell him off. So, yeah. So, what happened was, it was my freshman year, and I was looking too cute. I had my braids, you know, and I hadn't talked to my ex since the beginning of the eighth grade year, and because he was in turning point, like, through my seventh and eighth, through the seventh and eighth, beginning of eighth, and then I never saw him again, because I, I don't even know. So, I don't even think he was in turning point, I think he just dropped out. <laughs> for a minute so um yeah my ninth grade year in the beginning of my ninth grade year I had him in my class I had him in my a day class in my b day class for those who don't know a day is first second third fourth and b day is fifth sixth seventh eighth so you think you'd have a half day too, but it, it's, it's not like that for, for people who are in middle school. It's not like that. So anyway, he was in my class and he would do like, you know, he would, you know, on the first day of school when he saw me, he kind of looked at me. Then he looked away quick. Then, you know, he kept avoiding my eye contact. Then we finally talked. I said, hey, how are you? And then he said, hi, how are you? You know, so, I mean, it was, you know, just, just small talk. And so, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, if I get a little teary eye, it's just because he did me so wrong, like, no, I'm kidding, um, but <laughs> fuck that bitch, no, I'm kidding, <laughs> so, anywho, yeah, I saw him in the beginning of my ninth grade year, he's in my classes, and, you know, he would do weird things, my friend thought that was, he did this one thing, my friend was she fell out so he, me and my friend we were walking up to her class and him and his girlfriend were right here like on this when we were walking upstairs and they were on the thingy where the stairs they were on the thingy where the stairs stop and they were like right i don't know if you can see that but they were on that that square thingy that flat space surface i don't know what it's called um, I don't know what it's called, but they were on that flat floor surface after any when you go down the stairs and stuff. So anyhow, she, you know, he, they were walking and he, she gave him a hug and then he saw me and he was like, give me a kiss. And he kissed her in front of me. I didn't care. And my friend was like, <laughs> as soon as they left, I kid you not, I died. She said, he did the purpose and I didn't think anything of it until this one time we were learning about Greek gods in my fifth period I want to say I want to it was seventh seventh eight no six, my sixth period oh was my fifth period that year. you know what <laughs> um but yeah we were in my fifth period sixth period sixth 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 inning we were in my sixth period and um he was like um we were learning about Greek gods in sixth period point blank while I'm having this little mind block and he was like you know he was talking to me and he was he, no we were you know and we you know me and him were cool we knew where we stand it you know but we would get you know Oh, didn't y'all used to date? Isn't this awkward? Girl, I didn't care. I was cute. I had my man sheet. So anyway, um, he um, we were learning, and I wanted to get Aphrodite because Aphrodite was so pretty to me. I like just loved the term Aphrodite. I loved Aphrodite itself. I love just the story of Aphrodite, like just Aphrodite, Aphrodite, please, Aphrodite, <laughs> like yeah. So. Anyway, I want Aphrodite, and the teacher, you know, she was like, either you can get a partner because you're only going to choose one name. You know, everybody's picking the name, and I was hoping to God no one got Aphrodite because me and them would have to box. And 
so when it got, he went when it got to him, he was, because I, I said a little bit out loud, oh, I want Aphrodite. And he said, can I have Aphrodite? <laughs> Bro, nobody understood how mad I freaking was. I, I was in my head. I was like, did he do that on purpose? Did he hear me say I want Aphrodite? Or did he think that was, you know, so... I was like, but I want Aphrodite. I, I didn't mean to sound a little childish, but I did. I did want Aphrodite. And he was like, um, well, we could be partners. I was like, that's a no, no, son. No, no, that's a no. So, yeah, but I agreed to be his partner because I want Aphrodite that freaking bad. So, yeah, so skipping past that little incident, uh, there was this one day, this dude, and this dude, he found out we did it, and he was like, oh, she's smart, and you make the money. <laughs> if anyone can understand what I say, good for you, give this a thumbs up if you understood what I was saying. So, he was like, you know, oh, you're smart, and he, you know, makes the money, that sounds like a cute couple, and I was like... Uh uh, hello, no, 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 no. And his friend, and he didn't want to say she's too crazy for me. I don't know what boiled in me that day, but I was just like, you, you, you. I, I said it to myself. I was like, and he can't drop his hose, bro. That's when it started. <laughs> this little, this little angry little voice inside me, like, you can release it. You can release it. You can release all that anger. And I did. I released all that freaking anger. I busted out. He, cause he said, when I after I said, you know, you can't. He can't drop none of his hoes. He was talking about, you know, what do you mean I can't drop on my hoes? I was like, what? You can't drop all your. So I put all his business basically out there and all that he did to me. You know, and it was childish. It really was childish. It was like freaking childish what I did because I stooped to his level. And <laughs> I made it like, he was like, you know, he was like, no, you know, I never did none of that. And all his friends were like, bro, you did her wrong. Why would you do her like that? And he was like, and you stayed? I was like, mm-hmm, girl, I stayed. I held her down for that fool. And everyone was like, Ooh. And then someone was like, but wait, don't you got, that was my current boyfriend at the time, not my current, but like my ex-boyfriend, you know, at the time, my off and on again, so, <laughs> I'm still laughing, um, <laughs> uh, um, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing so hard, um, Okay, so anyway, you know, I was like, yeah, and he was the reason why, and he's the reason why I know what good feel like, and everyone was like, ooh, what's that mean? I was like, I don't even know what that means. I was just saying it, you know, to make him feel bad, you know, and that was petty. That was really petty that I did that to him. That was, you know, and, you know, he was, and then what really got me kicked out the class, I was like, you were starting rumors about me, but... You were starting rumors. About, the pencil looks so much better. You were starting rumors about me, but you knew I was a virgin. So why would you tell people that? And, and he told, in, in case, I didn't want to say it out loud because I don't like that word. And he was like, everyone was like, oh, the burns. And it was the burn. It, 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 oh my gosh. And that got me kicked out of my class. And that got him kicked out. And, you know, everyone was like, girl. Like, I was, I felt like so many claps and applause because I was like, yes, preach, me, preach. And it was like, yes, preach, hunty, get that money. He don't deserve you. And he did it. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and, you know, he was like, when did I do all this? I was like, you know, you did all this. I caught you. Don't act stupid. You know, we got kicked out the classroom, you know. And he was still fussing about it. I was done with it. I, I don't, I was, I was done, you know, and he was still kind of fussing about it. So, you know, he was 
out in the hallway and the police, I think the police, I don't, I think the, I want to say he was still fussing back because I don't remember. It was such a long time ago. But, <laughs> the, you know, you know, I came back. I, yeah, he did go with the, the officer or something. He skipped or something. He just walked away. You know, I don't even know. And my teacher was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. You know, she's like, cause you look like you were about to just, oh. I was like, no, I, I wasn't about to do anything. I was just telling his business, you know? And you know, I came back in the classroom and was like, girl, he did you too long. You don't deserve that. And I didn't, I honestly didn't. So yeah. Um, here's the thing about telling off your ex never, the moral of that story was never tell off your ex. Cause I felt petty. I felt rude. I felt, it kind of, and it did kind of, no, no, no. The officer did not take him back. The officer never came up. I don't think there was ever an officer. I think he went back in the room, but an officer, I think, yeah, because he was walking around and the officer excused him back to class. And I remember, I think he gave me some Cheetos. Yeah, he gave me some Cheetos after, you know, and he was kind of looking sad and pitiful, like, so, you know, but he gave me some Cheetos, so I guess we was cool after that. And his friend was like, bro, he did you too wrong, you know. And then they were asking me, were you doing, were you just doing this to make your ex jealous? You know, make, I can't say their name, and it pisses me off because y'all can get confused. And, and I was like, no, and it sounded like I was. And I felt so freaking bad because I was like, how am I going to tell such and such about it? Because, you know, I basically, you know, I told him, you know, I'm over him. And it sounded like I wasn't. And I was, but it sounded like I wasn't. Like, it did sound like, I sound like I'm in denial. Trust me, I'm over that dude. Like, so, yeah, I mean, basically, the dude, the current boyfriend I was with, you know, all he, you know, he didn't say anything about it. He just said, you know, you know, why did he say karma is bad and, you know, why'd you do it? You know, he said that sounded, that was really stupid. And I was like, man, yeah, what's stupid? But I liked it. I, I mean, at that moment, I was just like, I couldn't help it. You know, it just came on, came out. And so, you know, and it just all came out. It, it felt so good, but bad at the same time. It felt sort of like, you know how candy make you feel? It made you, it made me feel a little bit good. And hyper and hype and stuff, but it did not make me feel good inside. It made me feel petty, as if you know. I'd almost been apologize, but he apo- he ended up apologizing to me first. He ended up saying, "I'm sorry for everything I did, and I'm sorry I made you mad that day." And you know, I I, I mean, I never heard of him. I never heard, you know, he never talked to me again. Honestly, like he never did. He never talked to me. He would just be like, you know, he passed me, he'd say, you know, he'd look at me and he'd look at his girlfriend, you know, and I just, I wouldn't care, you know? And after that, you know, my ex and the current boyfriend, you know, he was like, you know, they, you know, the current, you know, he would just ignore him every time he tried to talk to him in front of me. I'd be like, yeah, it's the bag, get it, hunt tea, you know? But, because I got the inspiration on them hoes. So, um, yeah, I mean, I was, I mean, don't ever do it. I mean, if you're, I mean, that, you know, and some people, you know, that was just stupid. What I did was stupid. That was just anger. I didn't really like the dude, you know, and it, you know, you never really know you have those feelings about somebody until stuff like that happens you never know you had harsh feelings against somebody who hurt you until it all comes spewing out like you know you think you're fine until it came out and I just felt like this was not me for a minute and you know I just I thought that was the just most disrespectful thing I could do like you know it was disrespectful. It was to the teacher in the classroom. In the classroom, were just loving it. They was like, yes! So, you know, I guess that was pretty good for them. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, that's all I really wanted to tell y'all. That was a story. I don't even know if you count that as a story. You know? So. 
But let me tell you, you have your ex in your class, you have your ex anywhere, you know, just say hi to him, you know. You know, don't say, you know what, that's why you cheated on me, you got another girl pregnant, fool. You know, don't, don't cause a scene like I did, because that's petty, that's stupid. You, what will that accomplish? I mean, maybe he will apologize, or maybe she or he will apologize for cheating, or for lying, or for doing whatever they did to you. And maybe they won't. They won't. Chances are they won't. In my situation, he did because he felt bad. He was looking sad, but he gave me some Cheetos and apologized. So, I mean, I guess it all works out for me because I got some Cheetos at the end. So, I mean, so yeah, that that's basically what it was. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. Um, remember to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and vine and i will holler back at you kisses mm -hmm.